Hi guys, my name is Peter Miria and here we have Mercedes-Benz M102 engine. Uh, there is an 8-valve 2-liter engine. It originally came with a carburetor here and the single coil ignition system. What I did is, since I needed more power, I had to convert this to full EFI. So I built my very own computer. There is the Voltarent ECU, you can see it here. Designed it from scratch did all the wiring i built a custom fuel rail these are two half rails connected by this high pressure fuel pipe and then on this other side i've used denso colon plugs that are really locally available i've used a cable here so that i can just attach uh, a timing light for ease of knowing uh, the ignition advance and then here we have fuel tank with the fuel filter and the fuel pump and the engine is ready to start. So this is how it started. All we need is is fuel. fuel. Uh -huh. And then do the fueling connections. Mm -hmm. This is the intake. This is the return. So the return goes in to the fuel tank. Then this other one goes in as well. And normally cover the intake side. That way, so that now I don't keep on smelling the fuel. I connect the terminal, make sure the switches are all off. That is that. No obstructions, everything is okay. Start it. So start the fuel. Can hear the fuel line is up. So this is for the ECU, turn on the ECU. Just clicked and then you start. <laughs> Again. I need to make the ordinator recharge the battery, so I just shot these two wires. charging mm. I mean, sport. Sport, eh? sport yes. mode yes this is the one that determines how the engine will respond uh -huh. I don't have a display but I feel on the display mm -hmm. so if I do it on the clockwise mm -hmm. it's going, it goes into sport mode so if I rev it So the drive mode just changes the fueling of the engine. Same engine layout. This is an M102 2 liter engine. This has been modified now to EFI. These are the colon plugs. You can see them. I'm using denser colon plugs. And then here you have the fuel rail with the W203 compressor fuel injectors. And then the ECU is inside the glove box. Let me start it.
computer, the ECU, that now governs how the engine will run. And then here we have the drive modes knob down here. This is the one I use to change how the engine will respond. And here we have the display that tells me uh, which drive mode I'm in. So if I change the knob, it goes into comfort, which means it has changed the fueling and the ignition advance. And then it go to sport. Now it doesn't care about fuel economy, but power. So it gives you maximum power, the maximum that the engine can produce. And then, but normally I normally drive on economy. If I want to go way leaner than that, I go to Eco Plus, and it's not best for accelerating, but best for cruising. But in normal case, I just drive on economy. So the same system is called Hapa. Yes. The same same system is there. Yes, but it has a revised advanced program than this one. Okay. What's happening here? What what are we testing? So we were checking the ignition advance. So we are checking on the ignition advance. So I'm attaching my timing light. There's a Xenon timing light. So I attach the power, uh, the power pins. That is okay. Then I attach this. There's now the pickup coil for it. I attach it here. It's directional, so there's an arrow here. Yes, there's that arrow, so I have to make sure it's following the spark flow. And then I just click and see the ignition angle. Since from this view, the flywheel is going anti-clockwise, if I rev it, the ignition advance should go on the opposite side before the piston gets to the top dead center, like so. Something you want right now or uh, the 
a lot of people, a couple of people.